It says, therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because all sinned. For until the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed them where there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned, according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam. So this scripture explains where it all came from. So when Adam sinned, death came in, and sickness, sin, and death is all in one family. So all sickness, if the person does not get set free, if it's something minor, you know, it could be by the doctors, or, you know, if it's something spiritual, it would have to be by God's people, it will lead to death. So a lot of people um, say that, well, sickness is, sickness is harmful. But if you take your immune system away, so like if your immune system was removed, any kind of sickness, any kind of bacteria, any kind of infection would lead you to immediate death. So God even put in our natural bodies an immune system that protects us from dying. So even our body is trying to fight the sickness and disease. And so if God was putting it, if God was the one that was promoting that, he would have not put the immune system in our body because, again, so immune system comes from God. If sickness was coming from God, that also contradicts. Just like Jesus could not use the power of the devil to go against the devil, God cannot use his immune system to go against what he's trying to do. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, but I don't understand how uh, the, a huge majority of the Christian uh, people today believe that lie. So our immune system was put into our bodies by God to fight sickness and disease. And it's, if it's functioning properly and if it's doing its job, it will prevent from most sicknesses and disease or infections to, to destroy us. And so he also put that resurrection power in us his life, his light, that if we understand how it works, like it says in Romans 8, 11, that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead abides in us, quickening our bodies, quickening our mortal bodies. So God did so many things. In our body, he put the immune system. In our spirit, he put the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. And if we understand and allow that life that's already in us start manifesting itself, our bodies don't have any ability. Think of it this way, that if we understand and believe that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is in us and we allow him to start flowing through our body, like nothing can even come next to us. It cannot touch us. Why? Because God's life is light, sickness and disease is darkness, and can darkness overtake the light? Not possible. So that's why we're, we believe and we promote divine healing. That God's will is for the body of Christ to have divine health. Get healed, stay healed, and not even ever get sick. That should be our expectation. We always talk about this to our local body here, is that we expect to where every single person gets to a place where we don't get sick. And that should be our expectation. If we don't expect that and don't even believe that, can it even happen? No. It can only happen if we start heading that direction. If we start seeing that as the end result, and we start seeing what God provided and what His will for our health is, only then it could start manifesting in our life. And so God wants everybody, every single person, healed and stay healed. And he wants that for every person on this earth. If he wants that for every person on this earth, what about his children? 
wouldn't be even a better deal for his children? So as, as his children, what should become abnormal to us to hear that some, a believer got sick? That should become something abnormal. And so we need to shift our culture. We need to shift to where believers stand up to all the sickness and not allow it to come near them. And the reason it's possible is because that's what it says in his word. That's what God wants. He wants us healed all the time. Amen? So repeat after me. God wants me to be healed and have divine health. And have so much life to where I can give it out to others. I can lay hands on people around me and get them healed and get them set free. Thank you, Father. You're a good Father. You are the best Father we as your children can have. Amen.